This is my husband, Mike. We foster for D.A.R.E. and we're also part of a group that thanks to our sponsors is able to go out in the community and teach the proper way to approach and pet a dog where the dog feels comfortable and hopefully no one gets hurt. The name of our group is called SALT. Each letter in the word SALT stands for a different step that can help to keep you safe. The S stands for STOP, A, ASK, L, LISTEN, and T, TOUCH. I brought with me here to help out today, Kodak. Whoa, stop! I just want to pet the dog. Well, that's fine. But you know, you never want to run up into a dog's face like that. This is where you want to practice the SALT steps. S, you want to stop at a safe distance. Then A, ask. Ask the person permission if you may pet their dog. Then L, listen to what they have to say. If they say no, you need to respect that and move on. If they say yes, then we move on to the T, which is touch. You know, just like there are different types of people, there are different types of dogs. You have your very friendly, happy-go-lucky type dogs, but you also have your more fearful shy. But no matter what type of dog the person has, any dog pushed to the point of extreme fear has the potential to bite. Bite? I bet you that's why I can't pet that dog. I bet you that dog's bitten somebody before. No, Cody hasn't ever bitten a person before, but you bring up an excellent point. Had you come running up into his face and he happened to be a biter, you would have been in big trouble. Well, everything you said sounds very interesting, so you think now I can pet the dog or there is Well, before you do that, I'd like to cover the T part, which is touch. The proper way to approach the dog to pet him after you have first stopped at a safe distance, asked and received permission from the person, is to approach the dog and offer them your hand to smell. Dogs use their eyes, dogs use their nose as much as they do their eyes. You never, ever, ever want to come up from behind a dog to pet them. I'm sure when people do this, they think they're safe because the teeth are on the other end. The problem with that is dogs turn very quickly. It's no different really than you walking around here today and someone coming up from behind grabbing you. That can be very scary. So you want to approach the dog from the front, let them smell your hand. Now, a lot of the little ground huggers like we have around here today, you want to go ahead and bend down to their level. You're less intimidating to them that way. A uh, couple of points that you need to remember. After they've accepted you, you can go ahead and put your hand over their head to pet them. You never want to just put your hand over their head because the dogs have no idea where your hand's coming from or what it's going to do to them. So offer it low and let them smell you first. A couple of things to remember. Even though the person is giving you permission to pet their dog, if you notice that the dog is acting uncomfortable around you, maybe they're trying to turn away from you, shaking, uh, baring teeth, growling, you definitely want to step back. Better safe than sorry. Also, when you're meeting a dog, never do a stare down. If you go up to a dog and you look intently into their eyes, they may interpret that as a sign of aggression that you want to fight. Okay? Okay, well, I've listened to everything you had to say, and I pretty much understand what to do now, so I feel pretty comfortable. Is it okay if I pet Cody now? Well, if you're willing to go over the salt steps one more time, then we'll go ahead and give it a try. Okay, I'll do that, but I'd like the audience to join in with me if you could, because I think you guys should need to know as much as I do. So we know the S stands for stop, the A stands for ask, and the L stands for listen, and the T stands for touch. And we all know touch is supposed to let, smell your hand first, right? Okay. All right, well, let's go ahead and give it a try. Good afternoon, ma'am. May I please pet your dog? Yes, you may. All righty. Give him a hand, everybody. That's the right way to do it. Trained him well. <laughs> Your husband, that is. <laughs> that does conclude our program, but we do have a few minutes left over. If anybody would like to come up and maybe try the soft steps, you're more than welcome to step up here and give it a try. Anybody? Any volunteers? Good afternoon, ma'am. You sure may. Very good. Thank you. Good job. Well, thank you, everybody. We hope that when you're out and about that you remember these steps. Remember the salt steps. And when you ever see a dog and you like to approach it and pet it, just remember those steps and be safe out there. Thank you, everybody. Have a good time.